Hello, my name is Aidan Miles and today I would like to teach you a little thing about green screen and the magic of green screen and what you can do with green screen effects. Now, what is a green screen? Green screens were invented by Hollywood, God knows how many years ago, I don't know, some, like, I don't, I don't really don't know. But the thing is with green screens, green screens are very unique. As one, they allow you to record actors in front, acting in front of one area and then putting something either with effects or backgrounds or hell, even duplicating yourself, duplicating yourself on the screen as many times as you want. Using a green screen is very fun, but the problem with green screen is that you can't just use it with green screen alone. Most of the things that I'm going to be demonstrating today are post-production editing techniques that I've used in an editing program known as Premiere Pro, part of the Adobe CS6 collection. This is not sponsored. So, without further ado, I think it's about time that, well, I introduce you to what green screens can do and show you that now I can transport myself to anywhere in the world. As you can see, I have just transported myself to this magical, mystical forest in God knows anywhere of the world. Seriously, help me, I have no idea where I am. But this comes down to a little trick known as background editing. Background editing is probably the easiest thing you can ever do on a green green screen in your life, and that is me being completely 100% honest. All you need to do is source an image or take in a little handy picture of somewhere on your phone and then put it behind you by using a simple trick on the clip of you being in front of the screen known as chroma keying. Now, what does chroma keying do? Chroma keying allows you to select a colour of a background, for example, in this case, green. So green screens aren't just limited to being green. They can be blue, they can be yellow, they can be red, they can be pink. But using the chroma key, it allows yourself to transport yourself to anywhere. For example, I'm going to do it again. For example, now, look where I am. I've moved location, I've teleported again. Some more green screen magic for all of you. So now, in this cave, continuing on with my explanation, Chroma Keying allows you to go onto an editing program that can use it. Recommended, use Premiere Pro. It is incredibly easy and incredibly streamlined. If you try and do it in anything else, you will struggle. Trust me, I've tried it before. But the thing is with Premiere Pro is that Chroma Keying is really easy. As Premiere Pro, you don't have to go to an external site and buy the effects with Premiere Pro. All of your effects are there in one. So using Chroma Keying, I can, like I said, transport myself anywhere. Like I've gone from a forest to a cave and now to the next place. And as you see on our final adventure on our green screen background journey, I have transported myself to this wonderfully lovely hot volcano, which in any other circumstance, I would be burning alive. So don't try this at home. If you ever want to do a volcano effect, use a green screen, because then you won't have to go to somewhere that has an active volcano and burn your ass off trying to do something along these lines. And, whoa, I think that's our next lesson when it comes to the green screen. So as you just saw, that was an example of using a green screen effect in a certain situation. Yet again, using a simple trick known as chroma key. I think you'll find that the key to doing work with green screen is chroma key. So, what comes next? Well, I'll show you another example of that effect. For example, I can make it appear out of my hand. The benefit is, with green screen effects, that you can make them appear anywhere. For example, what I'm going to do now, and I actually sort of need maybe a little test subject. So, Rowan, get it! All right. Right, so now, watch this example. I'm going to shoot you with this gun, and really? here it happens. Wow, that really hurts. Now, using the magic of green screen editing, I can make it so it does hurt. No! Oh! See, using the magic of green screen, you can do anything. For example, you wouldn't actually be able to do that in real life because you would get yourself arrested. But with a green screen, you can shoot someone and make it look pretty cool. So now for my final trick using this green screen magic, I'm going to try and do something which is a little complicated, but can be possible. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you could possibly duplicate yourself on the screen? Having two of you in one room. 
Getting reality, that is completely impossible unless we somehow invent some cloning kind of technology. But with a green screen, it is doable. For example, if I stand here and then clap my hands. Right, as you can see here, I have now duplicated myself and then now it's a second alien. So hello there, how are you doing today? Great, positively fabulous. And you? It's great, I'm fine as well. Oh, that's lovely. So, how do you like your little short existence? My existence is, you know, I'm going pretty good. Yeah, I've had enough of you now, frankly. Wait, 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 what are you doing? So as you see, that is some of the effects you can do with a green screen. Now the thing is with green screens, green screens are complicated, and most of the work that you will have to do will have to be in the post-production phase in an editing program. But you can amaze your friends with it. You can amaze your friends with it and do whatever you want with it. For example, there are so many other effects I have not touched on today. For example, background editing and effect editing are some of the basic stuff. But when it comes to doing editing such as duplicating yourself, that sort of stuff takes a little bit more time. But anyways, my name has been Aiden Miles. Thank you guys for watching. Stay awesome.